Humans and wild pigs, our unfortunate commonality. Given the state of the world, we could feel a reluctant kinship for the unkempt Sioux Scrofa, the wild pig. Pigs were imported to the Americas by Christopher Columbus, Fernando de Soto in Florida, and Spanish missionaries in California. Feral swine, like Homo sapiens, are omnivorous, obstreperous, and annoying, making them one of the most damaging species in the world. At a cost of $5 million, feral pigs were effectively exterminated from Santa Cruz Island off the coast of California in 2007. A wild boar in Berlin gained notoriety in 2020 after grabbing a backpack holding a laptop from a nude sunbather who pursued him. Genuine Eurasian wild boars and escaped or abandoned domesticated pigs are the two types of wild pigs. In the wild, the latter develop darker skin, bristles, and tusks up to 7 inches long within a few generations. The two varieties also have a lot of fun interbreeding. Sows reach sexual maturity at 6 months and can farrow twice a year, giving birth to 4 to 12 piglets at a time over their 4 to 8 year lifespan. That's a lot of pigs, with over 6 million in the United States alone. Because of their incredible fertility, wild pigs can swiftly occupy ecological niches such as evacuation zones near melted-down nuclear reactors. Radioactive swine had cesium levels as high as 37,000 becquerels per kilogram 22 years after the 1986 Chernobyl disaster. For comparison, in Germany, the maximum limit for human consumption is 600. Following the 2011 meltdown at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, wild boars surged into the exclusion zone, inhabiting unoccupied homes, plowing up fields, and attacking visitors, complicating efforts to encourage former inhabitants to return home. Boars aren't fussy when it comes to food. They devour 3% of their body weight each day in field crops, frogs, reptiles, birds, and small mammals like lambs and calves when fully grown. Boars have been known to dig up bodies at cemeteries. Mast, fallen acorns and chestnuts used to make Spain's jamón ibérico, is their favorite food, but pigs also enjoy rooting for roots, bulbs, grubs, and whatever else they may find. Feral pigs are thought to uproot an area the size of Taiwan every year, according to recent research. The quantity of carbon dioxide released by disturbing so much soil is equivalent to the annual emissions of 1.1 million cars. Furthermore, this wallowing, trampling, and rooting destroys wetlands and riparian habitats, contributing to the extinction of over 250 listed and endangered species. Wild pigs also carry many diseases. Tuberculosis, hepatitis, and influenza are among the 20 diseases transmitted to people by wild pigs. E. coli, Campylobacter, Salmonella, Cryptosporidium, and Giardia are among the diseases that wild pigs pass contaminating drinking water. Furthermore, wild pigs pose a threat to domestic pigs by carrying the incurable, fatal, and extremely contagious African swine fever. Denmark built a 43-mile fence along its border with Germany to keep wild boars out in a desperate attempt to save its pig industry, which has so far been successful. What can be done about these invasive, reproducing, disease-carrying, global warming, habitat-depleting creatures? How would the principles of responsible stewardship apply? How best to care for creation? Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. It helps us reach a wider audience.